there, look it. Right here in the drive through Warning sign. Uh, All right. Take two on this rant. Now, for a little background, I've worked in food manufacturing as well as farming. So I understand what a lot of what he was talking about is there. So, with the main thing that he pointed out, that label at the drive through window, he was probably in Can uh, California. That label is common on a lot of products that are going to California or are for sale in California. Companies like McDonald's and Taco Bell and stuff like that also have that. All right. The reason for it is to avoid lawsuit in case someone gets sick because of, say, cross-contamination or something. Or they got a bad shipment in and they didn't realize it. It's more or less to cover their ass. That's what that little label is for. Now, if you're concerned about the poisons that you're ingesting, that means you can no longer eat anything, really. Everything will kill you. You can't breathe the air anymore. Uh, and... Well, you can't drink anything anymore. Let's get on to the first fact. I'm going to use three things as an example. I'm going to use spicy peppers. I'm going to use potatoes and apples. All three of those can kill you with regular ease. And actually, one of them, I actually just recently read a report where an entire family, except one young boy, was killed by potatoes, simply by ingesting said potatoes. All right, let's get into this rant. So we're gonna start with thing number one, potatoes. Potatoes contain a chemical called soluline. It's in higher concentrations when the potatoes are still green or when they are sputting. So there's a very small window where potatoes are technically safe to eat. Now, what's this mean? Well, I mean, you can eat green potatoes still, and you can eat spudding potatoes, but you're risking it there, because spudding potatoes also, I believe, contain arsenic, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of those poisons and whatnot. So, that just means, watch how you prepare your potatoes. If they're still green, let them sit for a few days, get a box of instant mashed. Their quality control is really good with this stuff. Apples. If you're like me when I was younger, you eat the apple seeds. Apple seeds contain arsenic, actually in a lot higher doses than you think. It would take around a five pound bag of apples to give, if you were to eat all the seeds in those apples, it would give you enough to get you sick. Not to kill you, but get you sick. Now, let's go to the third thing, capsaicin found in most spicy peppers. Anything spicy, really. If it's got heat, it's got capsaicin in it. Capsaicin is poisonous to humans, as well as cancer-causing. That's why Taco Bell would have a label like that, because they do tend to have spicier stuff. So technically, the label's not wrong. If you eat there regularly, yeah, you might feel the outcome of that in 20, 30 years of eating there maybe twice, three times a day. That's not what I'm getting at. This kind of, these kinds of posts I've been seeing a lot, it's fear mongering. And it does not bode well for the people involved. Now let's get on to some other topics. The air you breathe right now, it's poisonous to you. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is Oxygen is poisonous to you. Nitrogen is poisonous to you. Hydrogen is poisonous to you. If one day the plants decided to say, fuck it, let's clean all the CO2 out of the air, we would all be dead. The balance would be thrown off and we would all die. Water, dihydrogen oxide. Yeah. <laughs> Very combustible technically speaking. If you were to break it down in a trialysis, actually cars do run on water. You can use that as a combustible. And if you want to go even further back into the food, alcohol. Can't drink that anymore. It's poisonous. Can't smoke your cigarettes anymore. That's poisonous. Oh, that everything bagel you're eating? 
you're ingesting opiates now. Yeah. Everything bagels, poppy seeds, opiate. You can actually take a poppy plant with just a razor blade and some tin foil and make black tar heroin with it. See what I'm getting at here? Oh, chocolate. Meh. Get enough of it, you might go back, go positive to, for cocaine in your system. It's made from the same plant. Actually, Coca Cola still uses coca leaf, or coca leaf, which is the main ingredient for cocaine. So that takes all of your living options out of there. So you're probably thinking, what, what do I do? Enjoy your life and live it. Don't go around trying to scare people because you think you're all high and mighty. I know I'm going to die one day. Am I going to die eating kelp? kale all day and you know hiding in a bubble no i'm gonna have fun enjoy my life eat my fucking taco bell eat my goddamn wendy's even though i know it's not good for me and it's clogging my arteries i don't give a fuck and honestly you shouldn't either because if you do then your only option is death <laughs> because there's no way to continue surviving if that little label scares you, which is just a lawsuit prevention tool. Oh, and by the way, coffee. Can't drink that anymore either. Can't smoke your cigarettes, can't hit your vape. That's all poisonous too. Hell, drinking soda out of a bottle. Bottles are made of PP, uh, PTG type of, uh, I have, I had some filament a PTG and I actually stopped running it because when you're printing on a 3D printer with PTG you have to have a ventilated area for it. Why is that? Because PTG lets off toxic chemicals. Also guess what PTG does when it's in contact with water or a liquid for a large period of time. Those chemicals then become into the liquid. So yeah there's not many options for just living your life. Sorry, 